Today's shave is brought to us with a classic uh, SSA Swedish razor. Shows a little bit of home wear. A very nice razor using sterling green, which is a take on polo green. Try today on the Safety Cast Studios YouTube channel. Hello my friends, welcome back to the den for today's shape. We'll be using sterling green and a very nice razor. Once again, I'm just kind of grand, randomly grabbing out of a cigar box. And this is an SSA, which I picked up, oh, I don't know, some time ago. I don't know if I've used it a lot because that's why I'm going through that drawer. And uh, it's a Swedish razor. SSA is a pretty well-known Maybe not as well known as the other uh, Swedish razor brands, but it's a very nice one. This one shows a little bit of home wear. You see it's the toe there kind of comes around it. So this is by no means a new razor, but we hope to see it come right along. Now we're using a, a uh, this is an American chestnut handle. I had turned out of a piece of wood that I picked up when I was a Boy Scout years ago. And uh, had a couple of brushes turned out of this. There's a piece of, out of a wall of a cabin that we were taking out when I was working out at the scout camp. Gosh, that would have been back in the 1970s. Uh, and uh, American Chestnut is a, you can see some of the wormholes and stuff in it. So this has been around for a while. Kind of reminiscing me back to those days. This fragrance of uh, sterling green is supposed to resemble polo green. I purchased this. My wife, uh, back when we first met, I used to wear uh, polo uh, cologne. And uh, she liked it quite a bit. And I haven't for a long time, so she was kind of wanting me to get something like that but didn't want to spend the money. So we got this. Now, Polo, the Polo fragrance has, uh, wow, this thing is really, really doing a good job. Uh, Polo fragrance has evolved. And so what you're gonna get today as Polo Green isn't, the same fragrances I used and thought of as Polo Green, but I only called it Polo Green because it was in a green bottle. It's kind of close, has a kind of a pine forward, kind of foresty, woodsy kind of a smell. It's nowhere near, at least so far, using a, a soap. We'll find out when I put the aftershave on. Believe me when I tell you that Swedish steel is the bomb for me. It gives an edge. I like it. A very hard steel. This last one we tried that Bengal, which is with uh, Sheffield steel, and that's uh, quite a bit softer than this. Some people would think of it as a little harsh, 
I just like the feel of it. And this knot came from AP Shave Co. This is a, I don't remember what it is, a three band badger. One of the nicer badger knots that they had there. Anything you get from AP Shave is a, we got really nice shave knots there. There had been some discussion on what people's favorite knots are. And I do like uh, Badger. And they were my first ones that I really, really liked. But yeah, I find myself reaching for uh, synthetics here more often now than before. And uh, this thing is really just yeah, it's wiping off the just a little little touch there, but just a quick pass, just whoop. And it's taking everything off. Um, I think if I were to develop my technique a little bit more, I could get shaved pretty quick. I mean, this is by no means slow. We're only five minutes in and I'm in my second pass. If I want to do multiples, even quicker. But uh, this, is a, this is a dandy, I like it a lot. It's a shame I have too many razors and I don't come back to this one more often. I may fix that. I'm not sure how I'm going to reorganize my razor drawer. But I'm going to probably move my more favorite razors to the front and, or to one side. Or maybe I'll put a divider in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. trying to demonstrate good technique to you guys, and I can't have no idea why I, I feel like I need to stretch my skin down up here. Someday I may have to. I still have, don't have that much of a turkey neck. By that age, I know that's gonna develop. Let's see how we did. There's. Sterling soaps are wonderful, and there's still just a little bit of smoothness or remnant of the soap there. Allows me to feel myself up. And uh, maybe just a little bit here, but I'm not sure if that's skin or if that's whiskers. So we'll go ahead and do a quick pass on the residual slickness just here. That will do. We'll see what the alum has to say. Yeah, perfectly fine. No, uh, no problems. No buzzing here. If I wanted to do four passes, and get out to a baby bottom smooth kind of a shave, I could easily do it. But I generally just shoot for a, for a darn fine shave. That's uh, these are, these are Thayer's Lemon. I'm gonna try to use this up because I only got about this much left in there. So I'll lean on a little bit. I'm hesitant to mix it with my CBL. Uh, witch hazel. So I'm not going to do that. But, uh, let's fold the razor up and that lay, leave it laying open on the counter. Probably a good safety tip. I'm going to use the uh, sterling green aftershave. I frick imagine this is going to have a lot stronger fragrance than the soap. 
That just goes with like uh, most, well, as I recall, polo. You don't want to be splashing this on with wild abandon because it's a pretty strong fragrance. And I do, yeah, pretty strong. It smells uh, pine, kind of like walking through a pine forest after a shower. A little bit of like a mossy, leathery. Okay. With the, so you got a leather next to your face in a pine forest. I'm not sure how we'll say that. A little bit of leather, a little bit of pine. I can frag, uh, I can detect. I don't remember what pine, what the polo I used to wear smells like. It's been so long ago, but I like this. We'll see if the spouse unit likes it too. And that was Sterling Green. Yeah, we'll see if this is what she remembers because, you know, memories fade. Um, and we used this wonderful uh, SSA. See if you can see the it's not an embossed, it's kind of a, almost a blast on their scissors, I say. A nice razor from Mexico Studa from way back in the day, and we enjoyed it very much. Maybe I'll put a little bit of powder on because I'm just in the mood to do it all here. It's cooler out today. I don't imagine I'd get away with this in the hot, hot. This is more of a cool weather fragrance, but it's very nice. I recall, remember it, it kind of evokes some memories, but only vaguely to me, so I don't remember that much. Mind is a terrible thing, you know. So I'm ready to go out and do that, which I do. I'm Major Rich, and you find me at shavingcoddry.com, or you might be finding me on uh, the Safety Cat Studios YouTube channel on YouTube. Or uh, safetycatstudios.com, my webpage. Thank you for coming. Leave a like when you if you get the if you think about it, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.